Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Let's continue the list of the best arguments I've ever heard for atheism with argument 11, the argument of materialism. This argument is largely scientific, but only to a degree. Basically, it claims that there can't be anything that's spiritual, and therefore there can't be a god. It does this in this way. Since the beginning, people have always attributed things like creativity, intelligence, and free will to some kind of spiritual mind rather than just to the brain. However, we now have a lot of evidence that that's not the case, because we can disrupt certain sections of the brain and disrupt the person's abilities in the process. Therefore, human thought, creativity, and free will are produced in the brain, not the spirit. Therefore, the spirit doesn't exist, and man is entirely material. There's a few problems with this claim, however. First, I'm pretty sure the people in the ancient world realized that when you bash someone's brains in, it stops them from thinking. This argument kind of subsists on the notion that every last person in ancient times was an incurable moron, which I've always found to be a questionable assumption. However, in answer to the argument itself, we need to look a little more closely at the evidence. You see, when a scientist disrupts a section of the human brain and notes the effect it has on the person, what he's seeing is something called a correlation, two factors that closely mirror one another. The problem is that this doesn't prove anything. If you pull out the cords in a radio and it stops working, all that proves is that the cords were necessary for the radio to perform its function. It doesn't prove that all the music, sound, and talk shows come from inside those cords. In the same way, proving that we can disrupt the processes of human behavior by messing with the brain only proves that the brain is needed in order for those functions to be performed. It doesn't prove that the brain is the source of those functions, and therefore it doesn't prove that the spirit doesn't exist. On top of that, even if the argument did prove that the spirit doesn't exist, that still doesn't prove that God doesn't exist. God is logically necessary as a first cause of the universe, but there's absolutely nothing that says that God is obligated to create spirits if he exists. God could very easily create an entirely material universe and be well within his rights in doing so. So this argument not only fails to prove its point, but it also isn't even a real argument for atheism. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.